Shemai! Okay, so I'm coming to you from a very different place today. I'm not in my house, I'm not even in my country. I am in Lancaster in North England, and I'm currently staying with family just for a couple of days, just to have a bit of a break. But whilst everyone's out of the house and I'm supposed to be revising, I thought I'd make a very quick video just talking to you about my current reading slump, and then how you can kind of get out of a reading slump. So I'm in one f at the moment because I have been reading a lot of short books. As I've said, I have read um, We Should All Be Feminists, Metamorphosis, We've Always Lived in the Castle, those kind, they're very small books, all under 150 pages. But I also am currently reading Lord of the Rings, and it's very, very different. It's it's harder to get through than I thought it would be. I really, really enjoyed The Hobbit. I really loved the characters and the pace that it moved at, but it was a children's book, so I can kind of see that there's a bigger difference there. Um, but a lot of people have told me that there is a very slow start to Lord of the Rings, and so I think that hopefully once I've like pushed through that bit, then hopefully it'll get a bit better for me. Um, but I'm only about 150 pages in anyway, so I'm hoping that eventually it'll pick up. But basically I then decided that I would kind of abandon it for a bit and move on to other books. And I've started picking up other ones, but they're all still big and I'm not... When you go into a book, you want to enjoy it. You The reason why you pick it up is so you will enjoy it. And the books I've been picking up, I know that I'm not going to enjoy. So it's a bit pointless to pick them up. So I decided that I would finally finish off the Mortal Instruments series. Um, and I have been prolonging this because I, I really loved this series um, and I didn't want it to end. <laughs> this is the final one of um, the Mortal Instruments, so with Carrie and Jason, them lot. I'm really sad that it's going to end, but I'm also really glad that I've picked it up because it's what I need at the moment. I need something that I'm going to be interested in, something that I'm comfortable with, a world that I can just fall back into easily. Um, and so hopefully this will <laughs> cheer me back up. But if you don't have one of those worlds that you can just easily fall back into, then I've kind of got eight tips to help you, to ease you back in to reading. Okay, so the first one is go to a bookstore or a library. Just go and surround yourself with books because that's one of my favourite things to do anyway. I work in a bookstore and so I get to be surrounded by books on a weekendly basis. I get paid for being surrounded by books and so that's kind of my way of of just falling in love again. Number two is reread your favourite book. If you know there's that one book that, that you just love that will capture your imagination and will take you away, then read it, reread it and reread it again and again and again if that's what you need. I can't, at the top of my head, I can't think of a book that I really, really love to read. I'm not a big rereader anyway, but if I was going to reread something, then I would probably reread The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Number three, start small. Like I said, I've been reading really small books at the moment, and I think that's a really good way to just get back into reading. If you can read something that's less than 150 pages, that's still really, really good quality writing, that sparks your imagination and just moves really quickly as well. I think that's really good. Number four is reorganise your bookshelves. Now I've got a video coming out soon that's about 10 minutes long and is very very tedious but <laughs> it's basically me going through my bookshelf and just organising it um, and it was really really nice to film because it was kind of cathartic just to take everything out and put it back in and that kind of helped me as well. Number five, listen to an audiobook. Now I don't think I've ever actually listened to a whole audiobook so that's a goal for me but if you're one of those people that can read audiobooks and enjoys them then do it. It's, it's something you can do whilst doing other things as well. You can put one on in the car, you can read one whilst cooking, whilst baking, whilst doing loads of different things. You can even do it whilst revising. It might take your mind off it but... <laughs> Number six, try a bit of non-fiction because I realise whenever I'm in a bit of a slump it's because I'm not finding a fiction book that I'm loving. If there's a non-fiction aspect that you're interested in like feminism or for me linguistics, find something, find a new book that will spark your interests that you can learn something new about and it doesn't have to be fiction all of the time. Contrastingly, number seven is to go for one of the hyped fiction books. If you haven't read Me Before You or Girl on the Train, if you haven't read any either of those, I highly suggest that you do because they're very, very good. I enjoyed them. But 
the thing is that they they were very very consumable very easy to read and that's what you need sometimes and number eight is get some booktube recommendations or just any recommendations from a friend if you know someone who loves books if you watch videos of people who love books and they recommend something try that if if it sounds interesting go for it and then hopefully you might be a bit more inspired to do a bit more reading so they were all my tips for you and I hope they help. I hope they help me, if nothing else. <laughs> and yeah. So the word for the day is to try. In Welsh it is trio or keisha, because you got different ones. Um, and in French it is essayer. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I shall see you when I see you. Hi all.